Hello and welcome back to Madame Marotte Dam live stream. I'm your host Maria Bahamam and as usual today I have a special guest. She's a dreamer and she helps people achieve their dreams. So I think it's better if you introduce yourself, you're going to do it way more better than I Oh, <laughs> well hello everyone. I'm Babette Labay. I'm the founder and owner of Babette Labay Music Academy and I'm a vocal coach for The Voice of Holland, The Voice Kids and La Voice Kids in Latin America. Nice. Um, can you maybe talk a little bit about what are you doing right now to give kind of overview of the project you're working on? Yeah, of course. Well, what we do as a school is we coach uh, everyone that loves to sing and every age. And whether you're an amateur or you're a pro, that doesn't matter. And we have over 600 students at our schools. We have two schools, one in Amsterdam and one in Rotterdam right now in this beautiful building, the Groot nice. Handelsgebouw. And um, besides that, I coach a lot of talent uh, on stage and off stage for talent shows like The Voice and The Voice Kids. So right now I'm in the next season of The Voice Kids, working on new talent and working with new talent and cast the whole casting procedure. So that's very exciting. The Voice Kids? Yeah. Is it very competitive? Yeah, it is. But I, it's, it's always amazing how people are like, oh, wow, and it's so competitive, and is that good for kids? Yeah. Well, well you have all kinds of sports, and then nobody is complaining, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you, if yeah. you, have you ever been to a Dutch soccer contest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, talking about competitive. So, yeah. uh, yes, it is competitive, but it's a real relaxed atmosphere, and we teach kids. I guide them along the way to that stage you know so i teach them how to handle the pressure um i also teach them that it's not the end of the world if they don't come through uh, because this is just an experience and i mean we're not talking about a war situation we're talking right. about singing right? right so don't make it as big as you think that this stage might be Wow, so I like that you're not only uh, coaching them on their voice uh, abilities to take it to the next level, but you also kind of like pep talk to them. I think 80% of what I do is more the mental side of it, the right. mental coaching, than the actual technical skills of it. Because to go on that stage or any stage can be super frightening, right? So I try to, well, yeah, I try to comfort them and I try to maybe in a way tell them that it's not as big of a thing and before they go on stage it's really important that they feel that confidence to right. go on stage so that's 80 percent of giving them the the right comments instead right. of like you have to hit that high note you know right and what do you what is one thing that all of these kids have in common you know you coached a lot of them, yeah so what is one thing that you feel like they have in common i think all the kids that i've worked uh on the, the show up till now are super driven and they have this, it doesn't matter how young they are, but they know like, I want to do this. I want to sing, I want to be a star. And um, th that, that makes them really hard workers, even at the age of eight, you know, or nine. It, it sounds weird, but because they are so passionate about what they do and they want to achieve the highest goal, wow. it, it makes them super driven, yeah. So they're in it for the long run, it's not? Not all of them, because I mean, if you're eight, a lot can change in your life, you right. know, so sometimes I meet them 10 years later, that happened because I'm already really old, so, and I'm working for a long <laughs> time in old. this, in, thank you, I'm working for a long time now in this industry, so when I meet them several years later, some of them are like, well, I had a great experience, but it's not my thing, I, I, I'm still singing, but it's not, but it's not yeah, and right. some of them even, like, I trained them for the voice kids, and now they end up at the voice. Wow. So five years later, they're suddenly adults and they're like, I still pursuing that dream. So, so now they are in the voice uh, yeah. adults. Yeah. And um, do you know what the one criteria, I know the voice America, but I don't know the yeah. voice the Netherlands and they sing a lot of songs from American singers. Yeah. Um, what is that one thing that they look for or how can you uh, like give one X factor for a winner? here in the Netherlands, what is like a, a Dutch singer must have? Oh, wow. That's a big question because I don't, you know, you never can, the, the thing is why it's a big question because you can never say what it is they must have. Okay. Someone comes in and you can feel it. It's a total package thing. It's a charisma. It's a 
it's the X factor. Okay. But no one can ever explain what it is because it's a feeling. It's some somebody has it or you don't. Okay. So There's nothing in between. So, okay. so most of the times when someone comes in for auditioning, you can always feel it from the moment they just step in. You know? wow. And sometimes I'm wrong because then they come in, I'm like, oh, I hope you can sing. I hope you can sing because they're <laughs> looking so confident and they're so good, you know, they, and they are open and charismatic. And then they start singing, I'm like, oh. No. But I mean, it's the whole package. I'm always taking uh, Madonna as a great example of someone that combined all those talents because it's not ne she's not necessarily the best singer. She's right. not like a Mariah Carey or a Celine Dion. Right. And she's not the best dancer. Right. But everything together and her passion for it and her you know confidence and her power woman attitude makes her a huge star so, so it's nothing that you can kind of point it's just something no intangible. no the only thing that you can feel with people that uh, win the show you can feel that they are relaxed and confident in their own talent you know and that they're real they don't produce or fabricate sound or they don't are looking for to be the next Mariah Carey they're just unique wow. and they go from there and that's always the winner so authenticity that's the wow. most important thing in life right R so. yeah and, and everything <laughs> we do yeah I know you started as a singer why did you start what what driven you to music to start singing I mean I wanted to be the next Madonna there was no other plan there was no plan B this was my goal and this was my purpose in life. So I think it's something that I felt from deep inside. And then at the age of, I mean, I did a lot of things. I even had like, I recorded two albums. I, I got signed by a major company, by a major uh, record label. So it did happen in a way, but it didn't went to that like top, the, the thing that I dreamt of, you know, yeah. I didn't, I didn't came in near Madonna. Right. So at that moment I was, I think I was about like 25 that I started realizing, okay, is this going to happen? Or am I like pushing a door that's not going to open? Right. So what, what am I going to do? Singing is something that I can do everywhere, anytime. Um, I'm not going to give it up, but I can like loosen them a little bit you know right. let it go a little bit and see because in the meanwhile I was already coaching and that was something that came really natural and I had success with that so the moment that I focused on that instead of my singing career right. my career went sky high Wow! So, so that was more your calling but do you think that one of the main reason why uh, in your opinion that it didn't take uh, took off or it didn't uh, take off is is it because it's the dutch way people are here very practical very yeah, down yeah. to earth you know what i mean we're in america mm. Uh, have you ever even thought about leaving and going to hollywood and singing well, there in the united actually, states actually i just came back from six years at los angeles oh, so wow. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe i should have gone that way i mean i like the whole i, I think i'm more at ease in america okay. because the whole culture is more i mean we have this, this expression in holland i don't know if you heard of it but it says uh be uh, be normal that's crazy enough yeah uh we yeah. use that a lot and that's something that you will never hear in america that's right true. so um for me i you know i don't believe in if I would have done that or if I, I always look forward I can only like have this self inside feeling of okay what happened there and how can I change that to go to the left instead of the right, right. and of course that's not always easy but I don't believe in as an if and I oh I'm a, I'm, I'm a dreamer like I, I dream I dream I dream and if an, a, one dream doesn't work out then I dream another dream you know right. and I go for that dream and that's my that's my mission, that's my goal. And so I always wanted to go to America. It didn't work out when I was young. I went six years ago and I lived there for six years with wow. my whole family. Nice. And I did, and then I worked on the voice kids there. So things can happen, but you have to be able to sometimes change your path. Would you advise those who are going uh, through this singer career, if it didn't happen for them, should they push through or should they take that as a sign to not go there? Oh no, you always have, have to push through. Okay. I mean, as long as it doesn't, and there will be times that it will frustrate you, 
but that's normal, right? Yeah. I mean, that's it's in, in everything. Exactly. In everything. Whether you're a singer or an or an entrepreneur or whatever, you have to if you believe in yourself. But I mean, the moment that it frustrates you more than it gives you energy, okay. then it becomes a burden instead of something that you like to, you know. To. And for me, my whole singing, I, I, I didn't become a nicer person, and that's what. And then I was scared of myself, like, oh, I'm becoming this angry woman because I'm not succeeding. And for me, that was a sign of like, okay, now I have to do something else. Still in music, right? But I really have to switch it, switch gears in a way, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, but I think you have to be able to to go for it. You have be, if you're like with the slightest thing, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna make it. It's not gonna work. This is okay. a tough business. Right. It's yeah, a tough because everyone will tell you you're not good enough, or everyone will tell you the music is not good enough. Your singing is not like Ariana Grande. You don't look like uh, Beyonce. Right. So if you're not really strong enough for this business, it's it's really tough. Yeah, and I think uh, programs like The Voice kind of filter people out or kind yeah. of also I noticed that over the 20 years it's becoming more and more perfected and it's becoming more and more competitive to the point yeah. where if you see the first season of The Voice or, yeah. or American Idol, also, the way they used to sing compared to now, they will never even go through the door. Why do you think it's becoming oh, more yeah, competitive? Oh, yeah, you think so? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I don't see it like that because in my perspective, when I was young and still working a lot as a singer, it was really normal to play every night in clubs, okay. in the club scene, you know, and, and was there was a lot of things going on. So it's a little bit the same of what's going on right now on YouTube that right. you can showcase your own songs. And it was already super competitive. I think we get, we got used to all the shows on television. Okay. So and now it feels like and maybe you're right maybe because people know okay i can do this show right. so i'm going to train for it so maybe the talent will actually grow yeah. there are more chances but for me i've always been in the music industry so i've always seen talented people and again what i think it's really important to tell all the viewers is that if you are ambitious and you're you're planning to do something with your singing career it's not the only way to compete in a television show. I mean, I love my work, don't get me wrong, but there are so, so many, many ways. ways. If you're a real star, you will always get there with or without a show. Wow, yeah, so that's just something to look uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, at. Um, let me just check the mm -hmm. questions. Okay, so now let's come to the moment. So you're a voice coach or yeah. a singer coach. Yeah. Which one is more accurate? voice coach, singer coach? Oh, I think I'm a music motivator. <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, I'm a coach. I'm definitely a coach and I think, how do you call it? I would say I'm a vocal coach. That's how I yeah. call myself. I mean, and I try to get the best out of your voice. And what is one thing that you would advise, uh, if I'm coming to you, I'm not a singer, not even close. If I had to come to you, how would you judge my vocal abilities? What is the first thing that you will uh, hear in my voice? Oh, I would start probably with your ears. Like, does she hear the nose? Does she, uh, does she has this musical sense of wow. music, you know? That's always something that I like to find out whether, because some of the people that never sing, if I play uh, a note on the piano, they're like, what is this, you know? Yeah. So I'm trying to find out where your musical sense and your, yeah, your talent is in, in music. That would be the first, first thing. thing. And then I always try to read people. So the way you talk to me yeah. is probably uh, really close to what you're going to sound. Or I can see some of the problems already in the way you speak. Wow. Uh, because you don't have to make it that difficult. Singing is a lengthening of your way of speaking, right? Wow. So never thought of it this way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you talk, 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 and then suddenly you started to hit the nose in a different way, and it's yeah. you, you know, it's still you. Wow. So you can learn a lot from someone by only looking at him or her while he or she is speaking. Wow, so talking. You, then you are the coach. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> If a person cannot even hear the notes, yeah, can you teach them that? Can they become good singers though they they don't even know what beats are, what, what yeah, notes I mean, are? Listen, 
I like to hit a ball, I like to play tennis, but I will never be a Serena Williams, right? Yeah. I know that for myself. But I'm sure that if I get lessons and if I take them more than once a week, I will get better. But I don't have the talent of becoming a pro tennis player. Right. So it all depends on how you see yourself. And I do believe that you can train your ears. So if you never had any lessons, the whole keyboard thing is new, you know, and the whole listening to music and where are the chords and how do I sing this is totally new. You can actually train that. But there are people that come in and immediately hear it. Yeah. And you have people that need more training. Okay. And then you have to be honest to yourself. I mean, are you the next Beyonce or not? Right. You wow. know? Yeah, I yeah. can imagine. Are you the next Beyonce? I'm not totally <laughs> away from Beyonce. I'm like the other side. <laughs> um, okay, so what are you going to talk today about at the keynote? So today you have a keynote speech at uh, Venture Cafe at yeah. 6 o'clock? Or I think it's 7. Or 7, yeah. okay. Um, at 7 o'clock, so you might as well just come here and listen to this lovely lady uh, together with other uh, ladies yeah. in, uh, in different uh, industries who are talking about so woman uh, power. So, what is it you going to talk about today? Um, I'm going to tell a little bit, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to tell a story about a little girl with a very big mouth and um, how she conquered uh, a lot of frustrations and a lot of traumas and went for what she believes and dreams. And, and I think that's the story that I'm gonna tell and that's my own story. Wow. And I think, I hope that I will inspire people by telling my story. And it sounds a little bit cliche, but I do believe in never giving up, letting go, yeah. but never give up, and then go for your next dream. Letting go but never give up. Yeah. This is a beautiful saying. Yeah. Letting go but never give yeah, up. Yeah, that's my mantra. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really awesome. What would you advise people starting out, you know, in, in this industry? One advice would you give? One advice. I would advise to stay super close to your own gut. I, in everything that I have experienced, I always try to go back to myself. What do I feel? Right. What do I, what do I feel? What do I want? What is, is it realistic what I want? Is it realistic what I feel? Are my fears realistic? So go back every, I mean, you can learn a lot from other people, especially people that you trust and respect, but it always comes back to what you feel. And your gut is the best, how do you say that? Like, um, we have this beautiful word in Holland, it's called graadmeter. I don't know if you know no. what that means. <laughs> no. But it's like, uh, uh, how do you say that? Yeah, it's the one thing that tells you if you're wrong or you're right, for me. Okay. And if you, if it's difficult to, I, th I know that there are sometimes uh, phases in your life or periods in your life that it's difficult to go back to that feeling. Yeah. But if you want to make it in this industry, you always have to be able to like, okay, what do, what do I want? Follow your gut. Yeah. Follow yeah. your gut yeah. feelings. I yeah. Can, uh, yeah, I can imagine yeah. that. Um, Especially because this is your instrument. Right. So the moment you sing something that you don't actually want, you can always feel that. You can always hear that, you know? So, People can always see it. Of course. This is your, if you don't feel right now, you can feel it. Right. You know? Yeah. So Because this is you. Yeah. And that's what makes singing so personal and so vulnerable. And can people feel that too? Is that what you're trying to do? Of course. Okay. You ha I mean, if you're a pro, you can fake it. Right. <laughs> you know? I, I've learned to like be able to, in, in when you're super sad, you still have to sing a song like, Oh, I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> you cannot bring that with a lot of tragic <laughs> <laughs> feelings so you have to be able to like act it out but still it goes from it has to come from here wow. so, so you, to yeah. touch people to be able to touch people so you have to feel what you're singing of course otherwise you cannot of, uh, you have to feel what you're saying to right. me right that's true you yeah. have to listen and feel and it's the same with singing wow um let's talk about the music academy yeah you have a location here in rotterdam why yeah. rotterdam good question um, now, to be honest, when I came back, I, I just moved back from Los Angeles uh, last August. Wow, so cool. Yeah, and there, and I was like, and also I made, I, I wrote a book, 
in um, what is it called? Uh, Sing. Sing. <laughs> yeah. And um, I can actually show it later on. Um, I, I, I did that in LA because I had the time and the space to concentrate for that. And then I also had the plan, okay, I want a second school. You know, Amsterdam is going really well, knock on wood. Uh, where's for wood? yeah, where's wood? Where's wood? I'm <laughs> superstitious. No um, no, <laughs> no wood <laughs> here. Um, so I was like, okay, what go is gonna be my next endeavor? You know, yeah. and I, I I had the book, it was finished, and I'm always looking for new things. So and then I was like, okay, let's go for a second location. And for me, Rotterdam is a little bit. You can compare it in a way to America because it has way more um, innovative feel in it i don't know if you understand what i'm trying yeah, to say definitely. but the whole thing of go-getter and well you can also see it see here yeah. you know this is so american and so what i'm used to in la like combining things um mixing companies together trying to build something together right so for me it was obvious that uh, that would be the next choice for next school and who are uh, you looking for for uh, your academy who can apply as a singer you mean yeah yeah everyone so anyone can just go you are through the you are coming at my school wow i will <laughs> i am actually maybe give it a try yeah why not <laughs> now the thing is because of my name in this industry people think okay if i'm applying for her school i must be really good you know yeah. But that's, uh, in, on the contrary, we love to teach people how to get the best out of our voice. Even if you're not wanting to be a singer, but for example, a host, right. we also train hosts. But everyone is welcome from the age of three years old wow. to 80. And of wow. course, the lessons are different when you're a professional and you have to sing five days a week in a musical, for instance. Or when you're, when you're you and you want to try out your first lesson, then you get in another group okay and but it's everyone is welcome and it's an, uh, also available in English not only Dutch well we, every song the most of the songs, we're a pop school so uh, all the songs are pop oriented and I mean most of the songs are in English so it's I think it's easy to follow and you train people not only to use their vocal to sing but to also speak yeah, well, I train a lot of hosts because the whole breath support thing yeah. and everything and how to uh, project your voice, you know, yeah. when you talk or when you ask questions, that's something uh, super close to how we sing. So okay. that's what we also do. Yeah. yeah, I might check it out. Actually, I need to, uh, I have like problems with my breathing yeah. and that's something that I am working on by myself. And now I was thinking to look for something to teach me. And now. singing can actually help you with that. Okay. Wow. So didn't know that there's no excuse anymore Maria. yeah i'm like you know what i do red leather yellow that, yeah. that's what i am doing at yeah. the moment but yeah we'll check yeah. it out it's uh, on the first floor of yeah yeah out. yeah here and downstairs so uh <laughs> so we expect to see you way more here every thursday on the yeah hopefully day. hopefully uh, you just moved in here or? yeah yeah uh, okay four months ago and it's open five days a week yeah five days a week yeah. from Every, I mean, we're we're going on and on and on. The lessons are mostly after schools, okay. But also, we have also workshops and masterclasses in the weekend. So okay. yeah, you can apply at info at babetelabai.com, okay, and or on our also, uh, link it on there. the website babetelabai uh, Music Academy. All right, uh, okay. So have have you lived in Rotterdam before? No. Are you like kind of new to it? Yeah. Oh, because I wanted to ask you, what do you love the most about it? Or where do you like to go out for dinner? I yeah. only know, to be honest, a suicide club upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Anybody but, who comes here knows that. Yeah, it's yeah. not the first place to go. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't know that much about Rotterdam. Okay, oh, yeah. so you're going to kind of come here and experience it yeah. firsthand. I yeah. think you did the right decision of coming here. Are you going to live here or in Amsterdam? I'm no, I'm, I'm, I still live in, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm a girl Amsterdam. from Amsterdam. Right. So right. that's gonna. <laughs> my friends were actually because I came home and I'm like, oh, every time that I came home from teaching here, I was like, oh, Rotterdam is so nice. And my friends, are, are you gonna live there? I'm like, oh no, not that. Not that, that much. Not that much. It's but, nice, uh, but not that nice. Yeah, no. But I mean, it's. I'm used to LA, you know. So the distance for me, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, is nothing. Yeah. So compared to a lot of people here, like, oh, it's in Amsterdam. There's no way. I know, go there. but I mean, if I wanted to go to West Hollywood and I live near the beach. Then I had to travel 45 minutes to get there, so yeah. I'm used to the long distance thing. Six years in LA. Yeah. Well, what 
-hmm. brought you to come back here? What uh, made you come back? Well, here? to be honest, um, my book got, got published. Yeah. So I had to do a promo tour and my plan to open up a school here. So there were two big things that I had, you know, well, next adventure. Yeah. So, and for me, you know, LA is an 11 hour flight. So it's not like you're flying two hours and then you're here. So we made the decision, okay, then for the next couple of months to build this new company and to work on my book, we are going back. With okay. a little bit of pain in our heart, I must say. Yeah. But we're back and forth there, so, so yeah. it's okay. Between LA and Amsterdam. Um, Amsterdam. And Rotterdam. And Rotterdam now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Rotterdam is going to be in the picture. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, since you're an Amsterdam girl and yeah. you started out here, what is one thing that Amsterdam has that Rotterdam will never have? Well, because you know that I have to be careful now, right? <laughs> um, I think. And that's something that I, I, I think you, everyone knows that Amsterdam is such a beautiful place. Right. It's just like a museum you're walking through, you right. know? Like and a movie set. Yeah, it is. And that's something obviously that's, that was, it was here, but unfortunately there was this World War II. Yeah. So, uh, and that's a big, a big difference of the whole atmosphere, which also makes it here more like a America kind of feel because everything is new, new when yeah. people, so, but I mean, if I stroll along the uh, canals, you know, then I'm like, wow, this is... Every time? Every evening when I walk my dog and I'm, except yeah, when it's raining, <laughs> <laughs> then I want to go inside. <laughs> but I mean, at night, every time that I walk there and I see the canals and the houses and that's so beautiful. It hits you every time. Yeah. I mean, it's like, now don't I know you love why it? I live. Uh, I'm a Rotterdam girl. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But do you, you don't like Amsterdam? Um, maybe I should be careful. No, I <laughs> like it, but it's just very crowded. You're right. Yeah. Um, and I love space. Yeah. I love yeah. space. And yeah. that's the only downside. But no, I, when I first moved here, I, I was spending a lot of time there in Amsterdam. But the feel of, as you just said, like I'm more like into the American feel of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there it was not American. It no. Was like complete duck. Yeah. Um, and that was in like, Amsterdam, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. And, and it's also a little bit what I like about Rotterdam instead of Amsterdam, people are a little bit more to themselves. Cons conservative yeah but not really conservative but but it's this is my space right you know I'm, I'm a, and here you can feel and I think that's something that you also um, point out is it's more American it's more like let's do this together yeah. let's work together how can we build things uh, we want to come we want to go there you know right. while Amsterdam is more of what are you doing oh no that's no. mine yeah. <laughs> you know it's yeah. more and that's not necessarily what I like right. and that's what I find here so the combination is actually really good and we got the best football players soccer players Sorry. in Amsterdam Ajax what, what about Feyenoord? Sorry, we I don't know if you've year. seen the last game of Ajax, but no, there it was worldwide news, even on CNN. So okay, we'll don't go it. there. <laughs> okay, so you guys have the be a better uh, football. Team. Yeah, we have. Nice. I make a lot of enemies. Right now. <laughs> no, you can. Hopefully, I mean, no one is watching. <laughs> no, no, I don't think uh, you're gonna make a lot of enemies. You're an adorable person. Um, okay, so coming to an end. Yeah. This, this last question of this mic going to be broadcasted to each and every person living on this planet. So yeah. More than 7 billion people is listening to you right now. What would oh. be your message? Wow. You have easy, <laughs> simple <laughs> questions. What would be my message? I think, well, it's almost International Women's Day. Right. And I am a woman. Right. Um, I must say that I always like try to not point that out too much because I do believe in equality and I do believe that it's also my duty to not make a big difference between us but unfortunately it is out there it's out there um, but I think as a being a woman I think I'm a strong independent woman I would love to tell you every girl every woman there you can get there whether it's with the big steps you have to take or some small steps or some climbing even, you can get there. You can choose left instead of right. Even when you're in traumatic situation, I will talk about that uh, during the keynote because a lot has happened to me, but I chose to, to the things that overcome me, I change them around and I try to make something positive out of that. Wow. And again, 
trying to follow your heart, trying to be real and true to yourself and don't give up, but just let go. Don't give up, but just let go. This is I'm going to print it out and put it out there. Don't give up, but like, like let go, but don't give up. Yeah, exactly. It's beautiful because it's like a balance, you know, instead of holding on too much. Yeah. If you're hurting yourself, let go, but don't give up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing yeah. to say. Okay, so today at 7 uh, p.m., you have your keynote speaker here at Venture Cafe. Um, you better. You have been an amazing, amazing guest. I well, thank you. You're an amazing host. Oh, thanks so you much. You asked wonderful questions. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank and you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you Yeah. Welcome. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. As usual, this one will stay on Instagram for 24 hours, and it's going to stay forever on Facebook. Woo! See you guys for next week for more inspiration. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>